Greetings and salutations. We're kicking Paul's head in, in Rakers and Tails. Yeah, we left you on the cliffhanger the last time. Ah, dealing with Rakers and never fun. Spearmen and defenders. We'll just go for fifty percent on you. Assist. Who the heck is this assist? Nasty. Damage is half of the target HP, less effective on bosses. Ho ho! Well, let's go for one of these defenders. He's a. What? What the hell? Okay. and hit everybody with because yeah there we go I want to see if it's just it's immune for now oh yeah I can't spam that damn yeah, evasion at 100% just for a minute yeah he's immune to damage until we get rid of everyone else <laughs> Give you recover. I'll just catch it again. Yeah, 100% bite. Mullet dance. 100% stun. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Mullet dance is just. Four hits. Chance of killing. Let's go with a spear. Oh, what? Come on! immune to most like status effects of things. Truly I just a free society. Oh DMG and Donald knuckles and I mean, we've already tried Force. Let's try Magic. <laughs> also, Oblix should have picked him up and yeeted him. Nah, we can take them all! We could take all of them. I even got warmed up. This is the one problem. It does feel like cutscene incompetence. I mean, Oblux could have taken all the front row of guards by himself. You made a fool of yourself, so you didn't, uh, we didn't make a fool out of you. No, I don't want to run! I don't want to run, I want to go back and fight! Yes, I want to go beat them up! There's only so many guards. We can take them. Uh, we, we have so many ways we could take them. We've got so much healing potion. We, it's just, we could literally just keep teleporting around the area. And um, ambushing them as well. I'm going there. Go. Lovely stuff. The first time he doesn't recognize the one. We 
we stood in the middle of the street. There's like, how many of us? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, six. Yeah, there's like, oh, we have this like, how many of us are? We're literally the mob filling the street. We're already going to attract the guards. This is a small town. How have they not found us? Seriously. Ser seriously, how have they not found us? Also, I'm still looking for those Wumpa Fruits. I don't know if they're going to be in this area. I really wanted to find them all before this. But, uh... It just got too frustrating searching for it. Want? Okay, that me goes beyond... Like, insane. What? They got mutilated. Yeah, how have people not just gone pure uprising already? Wait, you see first, first the cat folk, then the toons? You'd start with the toons and then move on with the cat folk. You'd be having guards rebelling, you'd be having the townsfolk rebelling, you'd be having the adventurers rebelling. There's a lot of- there's no one here that would be supporting the new regime. And... Yeah, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, you- they, the, so the king's gonna make your serfs. You're free people. He can't do that. Okay. Yeah, you'd be you wouldn't even be fighting the guards in the streets, you'd be assassinating them. To be a case of, oh, that, those one or two guards are known to be, like, troublemakers. We'll just wait until they're doing a patrol, and then, like, we'll just, we'll, everyone in the area will jump them and just off them. They wouldn't imprison them, they just off these suckers. You're, again, mutilating people. Of course, I'm presuming that the guards, the reason they have, no one has jumped them as they're going around in squads of like 9 and 10, but even still, the sheer amount of just nuts nonsense that they're doing. Oh, is that Nina? We have a specialized healer. Hey! Excellent, we got everyone here. Oh, it's fine. Yes, of course people use examples of the, you know, frog in a boiling pot. I, you know, I did not say anything when they didn't come to me, but there's, there's a difference between rounding people up and arresting them and having them freaking mutilated by law. That, that's so out there as insane that, yeah, people would be protesting about that. Keeping the Coopers out and very, you know, stopping people from coming into town, that's tame. I just feel like it's um, a jump from like a three or a four to straight over eleven, over to eleven in terms of scale of just nuts. I'm not gonna get over that. Again, why her being a witch be a big deal in a world full of magic? We literally have mages, NPCs walking the streets. Function. Yeah, thank you.
Thank you. Keep punching Axel every time he speaks. I have no patience for Axel anymore after so many versions of Rikens and Tails. Go away, Mr. Spotlight Stealing Squad. I think you should have had a picture of Mayu without the wig on for that, but... We're from another world. We, we're we possibly an... In if, wait, if they're versions of each other from another world, maybe. Do we have a clone in this world? Yes, we're in the biggest um, house in the slums, and it's really obvious it's been used as a HQ. And the city, this city is not big. The guards could literally go door to door in every single house and find us. I like how Daffy has, like, I, even I wouldn't do that as a standard. Yeah, I got a feeling the story's potentially was going full rebel. The guards are corrupt and useless. Half the guilds are in on it for money. Which, if people were going to have an absolutely useless king. Or the royalty is going to be one to be overthrown as well. There we go. Recap. Oh, oh. Um. Not available for the beta test. Okay, is this it? Is this the end of it? Have we reached the end of the beta? It's a little disappointing. I still haven't found Crash. What's, what's, oh, oh, I'm walking through people. That's not good. Unlike the conversation pieces. Excellent. You can go to, into a bathroom. I mean, if it's a public one, if you if you go into someone's ensuite bathroom, maybe not. Let's save here. Who knows, I might be able to use the save in uh, the upcoming versions. Ah, oh, so this might be a bit of an early quit today. I'm gonna have a little walk around the town. I don't think we'll be able to progress. I, I was wondering if I had to find the fruits in this section, clearly not. But yes, uh, the story's taking a bit of an extreme turn. Again, because we don't know like the political layout or anything in this place, a lot of it is like, I'm just hearing odds and ends, and it's hard to take any of it seriously. It, but it's fine, it's a fine game. You don't have to be 100% accurate. It's just, it's hard to build tension when I'm just like, WTF. And sometimes, I just want to punch a dude. Screw the overall dramatic 
fate in the world stuff. You know what? This guy's a jerk. Let's just punch him. And screw the consequences once in a while. I know I've been a bit more like that recently. Normally I'm very by the book and try to be nice. And all that. But, oh my god, the villains in this are so comically inept and stupid sometimes. That, um... You just want to punch them. It's like, you're just such a straw man jerk. I want to punch you. And eventually we're supposed to go all around these places. Oh god. The scroll. Oh, that's, that's janky. That's super janky. Anyway. Yeah. I keep feeling that something should be Silver Peak, but I cannot go into Silver Peak, so I... I don't know if there's anything in this build. I'm gonna go around to Dental Town, and we'll have a quick look. There is someone you can get in Dental. I think we may have already picked them up. Yeah, I, I, I think we've already collected everybody. Actually, we have a Rumbling Roses quest. Where do we get the Rumbling Roses quest from? Was there a north area of that town we could go into? Let's let's have a quick flip back. It will only take a second. There was supposed to be like a north and south. Did I just not go in them? Let's go back to blue light. Oh, you can just teleport us into the town. At least these screens aren't too long. But I feel like there's a lot of this game is get us going from point A to point B. Yeah, so. We went left, we went right, we went to the slums. Was there a transition north? I just didn't notice. Oh yes, it's blocked up, that's why. Ah, okay. Never mind then. It wasn't me being mad, it was just me being forgetful. Apologies, folks. 